Shawnee, Oklahoma. Shawnee is a city in Pottawatomie County, Oklahoma, United States. The population was 31,543 in 2014, a 4.9% increase from 28,692 at the 2000 census. The city is part of the Oklahoma City Shawnee Combined Statistical Area. It is also the county seat of Pottawatomie County and the principal city of the Shawnee Micropolitan Statistical Area. With access to Interstate 40, Shawnee is about 45 minutes east of the attractions in downtown Oklahoma City. To the east and northeast, Shawnee is 112 miles from the McClellan Kerr Arkansas River Navigation System which provides shipping barge access to the Gulf of Mexico. The area surrounding Shawnee was settled after the American Civil War by a number of tribes that the federal government had removed to Indian Territory. The Sac and Fox originally were deeded land in the immediate area but were soon followed by the Kickapoo, Shawnee, and Potawatomi Indians. These federally recognized tribes continue to reside today in and around Shawnee. Over the course of the 1870s, Texas cattle drovers pushed their herds across Indian Territory. There were four major trails, with the West Shawnee Trail crossing near present-day Kickapoo and Main Streets. With the cattle drives, railroads were constructed through the territory, with the government forcing tribes to cede rights of way. In addition, white settlers pressed for more land, they were encroaching on territories previously reserved by treaty to Native Americans. In 1871 a Quaker mission was established here. The current Mission Hill Hospital is located near that site, now occupied by an historic building. That first missionary, Joseph Newsom, opened a school in 1872. By 1876 a post office and trading post had been established a quarter mile west of the mission at what became known as Shawnee Town. Beginning in April 1889, the United States government succumbed to the pressure that had built to open the tribal lands to white settlement. It was also making policy to encourage Native Americans to assimilate into the mainstream society. By allocating communal lands to individual households and extinguishing tribal land claims, Congress was preparing the territory for eventual statehood. The end of communal holdings was also intended to be the end of traditional tribal government, to be replaced with leaders appointed by the federal government. The Dawes Act allocated the tribe's communal lands into 160-acre plots to individual tribal members believing it would support a family farm. Tribal members were registered with records known as the Dawes Rolls established for each tribe. The government declared that tribal land in excess of what was allocated to member households was surplus and available for settlement by non-Native Americans. It allocated that surplus land through land runs, essentially races by which people staked claims on land. Some tribes lost parts of their communal lands, disrupting traditional governments and practices. The first land run took place in the central area of Oklahoma Territory in 1889 known as the Unassigned Land. Then in the land run of 1891 onto surplus land off the Sac and Fox, citizen Potawatomi and Shawnee, just east of the original run, was opened for settlement. Four settlers, Etta B. Ray, Henry G. Beard, James T. Farrell, and Elijah Alley, each staked a quarter section in the proposed city of Brockway. Following an all night discussion among early settlers who had their own ideas for the town's name, a compromise was reached. They named the town Shawnee after the tribe that had been living there. A second run, onto the Kickapoo land to the west of the original, was held in 1895, adding more acreage added to Potawatomi County. Henry G. Beard claimed his quarter section of land in 1892. In the early spring of 1895, Mr. Beard entered into an agreement with the promoters of the Choctaw, Oklahoma, and Gulf Railroad Company, then extending its line from Memphis, Tennessee, to Amarillo, Texas, to build through his farm. In consideration, he gave the railway company one half his claim of 160 acres. The road was built through his farm, and the city of Shawnee was founded on July 4, 1895. For the first few years of the new century, Shawnee was undergoing a boom that came close to keeping pace with that of Oklahoma City. Located in the heart of cotton, potato, and peach country, Shawnee quickly became an agricultural center. By 1902, there were seven cotton gins in the immediate area and two cotton compresses. Between March 1901 and March 1902, 375 railroad cars of cotton product were shipped out of Shawnee, along with 150,000 bales of cotton. Feed stores, wagon yards, an overall factory, and an assortment of other businesses designed to serve the farmers as they brought their crops to market arose in Shawnee. The population grew from 250 to 2,500 from 1892 to 1896. 
In 1903-1904 the Atchison, Topeka and Santa Fe Railway in Missouri, Kansas and Texas Railway extended service to town, after being given land inducements from Henry Beard and James Farrell. Oklahoma Baptist University opened in 1910. Its first building, Shawnee Hall, was a gift from the citizens. St. Gregory's College, now St. Gregory's University, relocated to Shawnee from Sacred Heart in 1915, where it had been associated with a Catholic mission and school. In 1930, voters elected to move the county seat of Pottawatomie County from Tecumseh to Shawnee. The courthouse was built with New Deal funding, and opened in 1935. Downtown Shawnee is an excellent example of many Main Street communities that emerged in the late 19th century as part of the westward movement. Choosing not to organize its activity around a central square, as did many towns in New England, the South, and Upper Midwest, Shawnee represents a distinctly Western model of urban development. Depending on railroad lines for its economic health, Shawnee's Main Street became the focal point for commercial, manufacturing, and entertainment activity beginning in 1895 four years after the region was opened for European-American settlement when authorities staged a land run. Competing with Oklahoma City as the hub of central Oklahoma, Shawnee developed a broad base of economic activity. As late as 1910, city leaders hoped that one more rail line, a meat packing plant, and the state capital might be just enough to surge ahead of its rival 30 miles to the west. However, Shawnee came in third in the statewide election to determine the capital. It lost both the railway and the meat packing plant to Oklahoma City. The setbacks resulted in Shawnee being a small city built with services and retail developed around the activity of Main Street. The railroad industry led the early strength of the economy. The Santa Fe train depot, still extant, with its unique architecture, serves as a visible reminder of the city's dependence on the train. During the early 20th century, the Rock Island Railroad and the Missouri Kansas Texas Railroad both had depots in the city. Shawnee's major employer was the Rock Island Railroad, which had located its main southwestern repair shops in the city in 1896. After nearly 40 years, the railroad moved its shops to El Reno in 1937, but two major buildings remain. The Santa Fe Railroad also had repair shops just south of the city. By 2000 only a large concrete tower remained, and it was demolished that year. Some of the roundhouse buildings are now used by the city for storage and technical repair. Serving as the region's agricultural hub during much of the first quarter of the 20th century, Shawnee provided the market for farmers to sell their crops. Cotton was a major crop, and Main Street was often lined with bales, mule sellers, peanut vendors, and peach growers. The building reputed to be the largest cottonseed oil mill in the southwest is still extant. This same building later was adapted as a peanut factory to process another commodity crop. The Shawnee Flowering Mill, long integral to the city, still dominates the skyline of downtown. The buildup of industry and the armed forces for the Second World War, and in particular the construction of Tinker Air Force Base east of Oklahoma City, benefited Shawnee's economy. At various times, Tinker has employed as many as 3,000 Shawnee residents. After the war, three major manufacturing concerns were important to Shawnee's economy. Jonko Incorporated manufactured aviation products and employed nearly 1,000 in 1958. The Sylvania Corporation produced vacuum tubes and electrical parts in its Shawnee plant and employed another 1,000. The Shawnee Milling Company, which had rebuilt after fires in 1934 and 1954, employs nearly 300 workers. Also continuing as a nationally known company which began in 1909 is Roundhouse Overalls. Recognized as the oldest operating manufacturing company in the state turns out more than 300,000 denim products shipped all over the world. Alvin S. Nuckles established the factory to meet the needs of the overwhelming population working for the railroads in the early days of Shawnee. The Intosh family has owned the company since 1964. Sonic, a well-known drive-in fast food chain, originated in Shawnee. The 3,000th Sonic drive-in is also in Shawnee. Troy N. Smith Senior and Joe McKimmy owned the Log House restaurant and a drive-up root beer stand called the Top Hat. In 1959 Smith and McKimmy went their separate ways and Smith opened a hamburger drive-in down Harrison Street installing a call-in system rather than the Kerr Hop Stop he dubbed his drive-in the Sonic. 
both places were in existence until a fire in the top had in the mid-1960s forced closure. McKimmy built the Log House restaurant into a popular steakhouse and Smith sold franchises to the Sonic and has since expanded into a national drive-in food chain with now over 3,500 establishments. Beginning in the 1970s, Shawnee's economy improved with the addition of a number of industrial plants, including Eaton Core. and TDK north of the city, they added approximately 1,000 jobs to the community base. In 1980 Main Street was dominated by small retail establishments in which 80% are housed in buildings built prior to statehood in 1907. The majority of these buildings have had their facades altered to adjust to the changing tastes in the 20th century although one block between Philadelphia and Union Streets, remains substantially unaltered reminding of how life on Main Street functioned prior to statehood. One block west at Broadway and Main the building originally constructed as the Mammoth Department Store, has been unaltered very little. The building once housed Montgomery Ward and is now Neal's Home Furnishings. Before World War II, Main Street also had numerous drug stores and soda fountains serving as gathering places for young people. Today, Owl Drug in a building operated as a drugstore since 1895, retains many old fixtures and appears much as it did during the 20th century. Shawnee's first skyscraper, the Hilton Phillips Hotel, later known as the Aldridge, was built in 1928 at the peak of the wealth and growth generated by the boom of the 1920s. This stimulated development of the four-story Masonic Temple office building, constructed in 1929 across the 9th Street from the Aldridge. Main Street had a number of entertainment facilities. A convention hall attracted well-known celebrities of the 1910s and 1920s, such as Sarah Bernhardt Butte was raised by 1930 for a bus company barn. An opera house on Market and Main was the site of many memorable events. The early movies theaters are now gone except the Ritz Theater, which was the oldest continuously operating theater in Oklahoma until the theater's closure in 1989. It continues to be used for live shows. The Bison Theater building remains but after being used as an antique shop it's now empty. Downtown Shawnee has lost many buildings of historical value, but still retains a significant number of resources. These provide a living reminder of the retail and human scale of Main Street in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Located at 614 E Main in Shawnee is a unique railroad depot made of limestone blocks 2 to 3 feet deep. With a 60 feet dot turret, it takes on the slight appearance of a castle contrasting with the surrounding architecture. It was built in 1902 and was placed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1974. After operations of the Santa Fe Railroad ceased in 1977 the city of Shawnee took over the depot property. It was assigned to the Potawatomi County Historical Society which began restoration of this depot in 1979, after it had stood vacant for two decades. The building was remodeled into a railroad and countywide museum which opened on May 30, 1982. It contains numerous historical artifacts from the settlement of Shawnee, and also contains railroad memorabilia and a gift shop. The board of directors of the museum are currently in the process of erecting a new building directly north of the old depot. The 100-plus-year-old depot will then house railroad artifacts while other items will be displayed in the new area. Located midway between Shawnee and Tecumseh, Benson Park served the recreational needs of Shawnee residents for about 20 years. It had a stop on the interurban streetcar that ran between the two towns to the park. Built by the railroad to encourage citizens to travel by rail, it opened in 1907. The park had a lake for boating, an opera house, skating rink, roller coaster, large picnic areas, and later a swimming pool known as the Plunge. The arrival of automobiles, which most families could then afford, plus the financial distress in the late 20s, forced closure soon after 1930. Although the pool and the picnic areas were still briefly in use, the space that was once the park is on private property and occupied by a large pecan orchard. In 1907, Oklahoma was admitted as a state, and 8,024 people voted that the county seat moved to Shawnee, while 5,027 wanted it to remain in Tecumseh. The case was appealed, and the higher courts decided bribery might have figured into the election since Shawnee had offered use of property in Woodland Park as a site for the county courthouse. In 1911, the people of Potawatomi County again voted to keep the county seat at Tecumseh by a vote of 7,749 to 5,927. In October 1930 some 6,700 signatures were collected on a petition to ask Governor William J. Holloway for a referendum on the site of the county seat. A special election was held December 18th, and 12th, 800 voters, a record number, went to the polls. 
Shawnee won the necessary two-thirds majority by 90 voter margin. A recount cut this to 11. Tecumseh filed suit, alleging election fraud relating to a $35,000 slush fund, Shawnee supporters providing liquor at the polls, college boys being allowed to vote, etc. The Supreme Court came out and favored Shawnee. Until the mid-1930s, county officers contracted business in downtown Shawnee buildings. President Franklin D. Roosevelt's New Deal helped fund construction of a new county courthouse in Shawnee which was built in Woodland Park. On July 6, 1935, Governor E. W. Marlin dedicated the new building. According to the United States Census Bureau, the city has a total area of about of it is land and of it, 5.37%, is water. As of the census of 2000, there were 28,692 people, 11,311 households, and 7,306 families residing in the city. The population density was 678.9 people per square mile, 262.1 per square kilometer. There were 12,651 housing units at an average density of 299.3 per square mile, 115.6 per square kilometer. The racial makeup of the city was 77.03% white, 4.06% African American, 12.82% Native American, 0.95% Asian, 0.05% Pacific Islander, 0.72% from other races, and 4.37% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 2.72% of the population. There were 11,311 households out of which 29.7% had children under the age of 18 living with him, 46.2% were married couples living together, 14.4% had a female householder with no husband present, and 35.4% were non-families. About 30.4% of all households were made up of individuals and 13.3% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average family size was 2.96. The median income for a household in the city was $27,659, and the median income for a family was $35,690. Males had a median income of $29,792 versus $20,768 for females. The per capita income for the city was $15,676. About 13.8% of families and 17.8% of the population were below the poverty line, including 24.1% of those under age 18 and 11.2% of those age 65 or over. Universities Shawnee is the home of St. Gregory's University, a Benedictine Catholic institution founded in 1875. However, St. Gregory's University suspended operations at the end of 2017, citing financial difficulties. The future of the university remains uncertain. Oklahoma Baptist University was founded in 1910. The city was also chosen by the founders of Obu in part because two Baptist conventions, one in Indian Territory and one in Oklahoma Territory, had merged in the period of Oklahoma being admitted as a state to the Union. The city of Shawnee was considered neutral territory. Shawnee had been neither in Indian Territory nor Oklahoma Territory, but was within the boundaries of the Potawatomi Nation. Shawnee Public Schools Shawnee Public Schools operates preschool through 12th grades. In 2016, the citizens of Shawnee passed a bond issue to build a new elementary school on the north side of town, which continues to grow. Dependent School Districts Shawnee also has four dependent school districts. Private Schools Career Tech The Heart of Oklahoma Exposition Center, opened in 1981, now boasts of exhibit space an indoor arena that seats 1,000, an outdoor arena seating 7,500, and an RV park, all on. Since 1993, the OE Center has been the host of the International Finals Youth Rodeo, IFYR, the richest youth rodeo in the world, with a total prize payout of over $250,000, over 1,100 young riders register for the event each year. The Citizen Potawatomi Nation the ninth largest Native American tribe in the United States with 26,000 members, is headquartered between Shawnee and Tecumseh. Their Fire Lake Casino features over a gaming space and employs 1,800 people. The Shawnee Regional Airport has an asphalt-lighted runway with self-services available seven days a week. Shawnee has had an airport, private pilot training and air service since the 1920s. May 7, 1919 The City Commission discussed constructing an airfield, 
with several locations offered but settled on the old city farm where the fire horses were kept. Business and civic leaders cooperated with aviation companions in the construction of a modern airport. Graham Flying Service operated the facility in the beginning then sold it to Curtis Flying Service. An aviation committee at the Chamber of Commerce brought in several air shows including parachute jumps. In 1930 leaders.e. Regan purchased the Shawnee Municipal Airport and provided flying lessons, passenger trips and an aviation club. Shawnee was one of the hot spots in the state for aviation and was host to a visit from Amelia Earhart in 1931. The city was part of the Oklahoma Short Line Airways Company with air passenger service in and out daily. Then the war changed everything. Civilian flyers were automatically grounded in December 1941 until they took an oath of allegiance, were fingerprinted and presented a birth certificate. City fathers went to Washington to offer Shawnee as a site for one of the many military training bases which would be needed as the country headed into World War II. Meanwhile, the citizens of Shawnee overwhelmingly passed the bond issue for $200,000 to match the $285,000 allocated by the federal government to build the local base. The Shawnee Municipal Airport was moved to a site north of town. April 1943 The erection of the Shawnee Navy base was begun and by August the first sailors began arriving. First plans for the base was to be an auxiliary extension for the base at Norman but later was named a Shawnee Naval Air Station, a school for navigators. Then abruptly in March 1945 all Navy personnel and equipment were moved to the Clinton OK base because of the limited land available to expand. Shawnee's NAS was put in caretaker status and the equipment was sold off as surplus much of it going to the city of Shawnee and its citizens. The Shawnee Municipal Airport was returned to its original site in 1946 where it remains today. Terminal On August 29, 2011, the city of Shawnee opened a new terminal building replacing the terminal built in the 1950s. The modern, two-story design, is approximately 4,000 square feet. Governor of Oklahoma Mary Fallon was the featured speaker during the official opening praising Shawnee officials for their determination in getting the project started, funded and completed led by former Shawnee Mayor Chuck Mills. Oklahoma Aeronautics Commission Director Victor Byrd also addressed the crowd saying it's a far cry from what was here just one year ago. The new terminal includes offices, lounges, a large conference room space upstairs that doubles as an observation deck. A $325,000 grant from the U.S. Economic Development Authority paid for a large sum of the more than $965,000 it took to build the new terminal building. The Aeronautics Commission also provided a $275,000 state grant to help in the construction costs, while the city of Shawnee paid for the remaining amount. From 2008 to 2011, the Shawnee Regional Airport received nearly $8 million in state and federal grants for various runway and taxiway improvements. Sister City, Nikaho, Japan At the southeastern edge of the airport is a commemorative Japanese International Peace Gardena Bridge of Understanding in a gravel area with several Oriental-style stone ornamentation. A plaque at the bridge states, Shawnee Nikaho slash Bridge of Understanding slash is dedicated to the memory of Mayor Pierre Terran slash a strong proponent of sister cities. There is a gazebo approximately 15 feet dot by 18 feet with a gravel and stone floor. In the center is a wood picnic table with benches for seating on each side. The roof is wood shingled and colorful flowers are planted around the outside of the gazebo which is dedicated to the sister city's international program between Shawnee and Nikaho, Japan. In 1987, a Japanese manufacturing company, TDK, opened a factory in Shawnee which locally manufactures ferrite magnets for electronic motors. The mayor of Shawnee at that time, Pierre F. Terran Jr., sought to establish a sister city relationship between Shawnee, Oklahoma, USA and Nikaho, Japan. Each year, citizens of each town visit the other town, to renew ties, exchange gifts, and spend time learning about the other's culture. The delegations stay with local host families. The Potawatomi County Historical Society maintains a museum of the railroad history in the county as well as displaying other artifacts of the area in the former Santa Fe Depot, downtown at 614 E Main. The Citizen Potawatomi Nation operates a cultural heritage center which houses tribal roles, archives, and gift shop. The institution also interprets and presents exhibits of Potawatomi culture. Located between Shawnee and Tecumseh. The Mabijur Museum of Art, located on the campus of St. Gregory's University, is one of the oldest museums in Oklahoma. Its collections include Egyptian, medieval, Renaissance, contemporary, 
and Native American. There are three theater programs in Shawnee, each which organize a season worth of performance including Shawnee Little Theater and programs at St. Gregory's and Obu. The city of Shawnee maintains Shawnee Twin Lakes, which are located the west of the city. Shawnee has numerous small parks within the city. Woodland Veterans Memorial Park is two blocks north of Main Street. First built in 1905, the park originally featured fountains and sunken gardens and was the site of frequent Chautauqua meetings led by such people as William Jennings Bryan. In 1905, the Carnegie Library was built on the southwest corner of the park, currently the District Attorney's Office of Pottawatomie County, Oklahoma. There is also a Veterans Memorial in the southeast corner as well that features a helicopter once used during the Korean War. The park also features the splash pad that opened in 2015 which replaced the large municipal swimming pool which had been built by the PWA in 1936. The stone-constructed locker room remains from the pool. The park also features two tennis courts located on the east side of the park and has a playground area and a stage with metal bleachers used for special events throughout the year. There are numerous stone and concrete picnic tables, some over 80 years old. A small sculpture of a bald eagle atop a sphere on the north edge and a miniature version of the Statue of Liberty face Highland Street. Briscoe Boy Scout Park, located at East Main and Pasodum Streets features a splash pad, two basketball courts, two tennis courts, and along with a playground for children, picnic tables with barbecue grills and a walking track around the park. Redbud Park, located at the intersection of Beard and Dill Streets was constructed after the devastating flood of Shawnee Creek that ran through the area in 1928. The picturesque park features a large drainage ditch lined with local stone, many large trees, playground equipment and a wrought iron entrance sign. Shawnee is home to four wellness facilities. Shawnee has a rich sports history that reaches back before statehood. First reports of a town baseball team was in 1902. Since then there has been organized baseball from sandlot to minor league teams. In the early days businesses including the Rock Island Shops and Civic Organizations promoted teams in the Twilight League. In 1929 and 30 Shawnee hosted a minor league farm club of the St. Louis Cardinals, the Robins as part of the Western Association. Several Robins went on to play MLB including Bob Klinger, Pirates, Eval Goodman, Reds, Cubs, Alfred Lefty Smith, Giants, Phillies, Indians, Ray Star, Cardinals, Giants, Braves, Reds, Pirates, Cubs, and Fritz Ostermuller, Red Sox, Browns, Dodgers, Pirates, who was depicted in Jackie Robinson Film 42. The Brooklyn Dodgers provided Shawnee with a Class D minor league in the Sooner State League from 1950 to 1957. The Hawks competed against McAllister, Artmore, Pauls Valley, Lawton, Seminole, and Sherman in Paris, Texas. The most well known major leaguers to GT's start with the Hawks was Don Demeter, a Dodger pitcher from Oklahoma City, and Stan Williams, Dodgers, Yankees, Indians, and Twins. Shawnee also hosted some major leagues at Athletic Field now called Memorial Park, in the 1930s. In 1937 the New York Giants and Cleveland Indians played a spring practice game. The event was brought to Shawnee because one of the Giants' leading pitchers, Carl Hubble, was from the nearby community of Meeker. The following year the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Chicago White Sox also played a game in Shawnee. Seb Lanton, who lived in Shawnee and had played for the Robins, and Paul and Lloyd Wayner from nearby McLeod, were also members of the Giants' squad. At least 34 Major League Baseball players have connections to Shawnee, either by birth, or having played on a local team or lived in town at one time. 18 with ties to Shawnee have played professional football and 10 local athletes have participated in pro basketball. Shawnee High School has also had a colorful sports history. Records from as early as 1906 are found for football and baseball. Over the years the football team has won the state title three times, the most recent was in 2003. Several SHS grads have gone on to play NFL football over the years, most notably Darian Gordon, a 1989 grad, who played in three Super Bowls, one with the San Diego Chargers and two with the Denver Broncos. Just since the year 2000 SHS has won seven state championships, two in baseball, one in girls basketball, two in boys cross country, one in boys track and one in girls track. The high school provides excellent facilities with Jim Thorpe Stadium, Memorial Park, softball field and the Shawnee Performing Arts Center combo which includes a state-of-the-art gym. Shawnee offers youth sports of all variety either through the YMCA or the Shawnee Sports Association. There are also three golf courses, several tennis courts, 
two bowling alleys, Lions Club Baseball Park and a softball complex at Fire Lake. Shawnee briefly hosted the Shawnee Warriors, a semi-pro football team that competed in the Oklahoma Metro Football League competing as the Millers, affiliated with the Oklahoma City Yard Dogs, a minor league pro arena team that season. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.